Hey everyone, recently I went to Washington State for four weeks to help my sister with her newborn baby. So I wanted to show you how I was able to pack everything I would need for four weeks away in just a carry-on and this small backpack that was considered my personal item on the plane. Starting with what I wore on the plane, I wore my bulkiest shoes, which are these Nike... Oh, I forget the name of them, but they'll be linked down below. A pair of biker shorts from Aerie, a plain white t-shirt, and then over the biker shorts, I wore these joggers also from Aerie. I like to have layers of pants. That sounds weird, but I could take off the joggers and just wear the biker shorts if I got too warm. And then I also had this cotton sweater to act as a layering piece on the plane because I get pretty chilly on planes and it was cold because they were blasting the air purifying system. So I definitely used that sweater. Starting with my personal item, I have this hat attached to it from Patagonia. I love this thing, gotta have a hat. <laughs> and this backpack, I've had it for so many years. I think I got it in high school, honestly. As you can tell, the zipper is broken. I completely struggled with this thing the whole trip. It was its last voyage somewhere and I'm going to retire this to just like a beach bag or something. If you have any recommendations of a bag similar, let me know. This is of course one of my many face masks, gotta have them. Some lip balm, I love this Super Goop SPF lip balm. Next up is some hand sanitizer from Etsy. It smells so good, I love it. You know, these are all your, you know, pandemic travel essentials right there in the front. In the main compartment, I fit a lot in here. First up, my Bose noise canceling headphones. These things are so expensive, but so worth it. I absolutely love them for travel. It just makes me so much more calm on the plane. It's great. Gotta have a water bottle. This is a glass one. Again, I've had it forever. Some gum, I love these ice cube gums. The, uh, my eyeglasses are from Warby Parker. This is a little pouch I got when I was in Japan. It's made from recycled denim. And in here, I just keep some pills, random medicine, more lip balm, gotta have tons of lip balm, no dry lips on this plane. And at the back, they have, um, there's a little spot for some tissues, which is super helpful. I love pouches, as you'll notice. Here's a free pouch I got from a United Airlines flight once. And in here I have things like my powdered SPF, contacts, tampons, more tissues, floss, uh, cuticle oil, all that kind of fun stuff. Also worth noting, I have um, TSA pre-checks, so I don't have to take liquids into a separate bag necessarily, and I don't have to take it out of my bag, so I'm a little bit more loosey-goosey with that. Guess what? Another pouch. <laughs> in here I have, um, I think I put lip products in this one. Again, a pouch within a pouch. I just love pouches. Uh, this is a free United pouch I got struggling with the ribbon here. Um, but I have just a few lip products. I didn't want to bring too many because I was pretty much just hanging out at my sister's house. I don't think I even used these. It was one lipstick and one lip gloss. Oh, I, got a, I brought a lot. Jeez, a couple lipsticks. I honestly didn't use those. I didn't need to bring them. I probably wore just my lip balm the whole time because again, I was just helping out my sister with her newborn baby and we were just hanging out at home for the most part. Another mask, this is a homemade one my mom made me. Um, some eyeglass holder things and my sunglasses from the brand Gooder. Um, they are pronounced G-O-O-D-R. My sister's dog actually destroyed them and uh, ripped these to shreds and then I bought a new pair online because I love them so much. These are my uh, motion sickness wristbands which I actually do notice a difference with but I also just sit in the aisle seat which helps a lot and another pair of sunglasses. I think I might have overpacked a little bit now watching this back after having come back from the trip. I definitely overpacked slightly. I could have for example just brought one pair of sunglasses but you know it wasn't that big of a deal. This pouch is super cute. My sister got it for me as a gift. And in here I just have all my cords, some, a pair of headphones for work. My, uh, was my Kindle in there? I think, no, my Kindle is elsewhere. But those were all like my chargers. This pouch is where my Kindle was. Um, again, I just love pouches because they help you keep you organized and in categories. So this is a book light. Then I have my Kindle. I have since upgraded my Kindle, thanks to my brother-in-law. Um, this is the book I was reading, so you want to talk about race. And I was also loving to highlight and um, put little sticky notes in it. So I had a notebook to take some notes. And then at the bottom, I had some pens and a highlighter for that book. 
I've been really enjoying that book. I highly recommend it. I've learned a lot. And um, yeah, I'm going to struggle to put that book back in there. Uh, but I've been really loving the Kindle, honestly. I've been renting books from my local library directly to my Kindle, which I didn't even know was a thing until my mom told me. Shout out to my mom teaching me a technology trip, trip, a trick. The This is my Patagonia jacket that bundles up into that small pouch. It was great and I wore that a lot. That is my wallet. It's a little Italian leather wallet that my mom got me many, many years ago. So now I'm just going to stuff all these pouches back in. I love having different categories. First of all, it's easier to find things than things just floating around. Um, and I definitely feel like I can fit a lot more using all those different pouches. And I'll link as much as I can down below. A lot of this stuff I've just had for years, to be honest. So there's not much to link. Um, but let me know in the comments if you want any specific links and I'll try to do that for you. So yeah, that was my personal item. It fit underneath the seat in front of me. So we're good to go. Next up is my actual carry-on luggage. This is the Away Larger Carry-On. I love the color. Chance got it for me for Christmas uh, in 2019. We thought we were gonna be traveling a ton in 2020, but surprise, surprise, that didn't happen. <laughs> but I love this thing. It's slightly larger, so you have to check some airlines. I know um, Alaska Airlines, it might be too big, but I flew with Delta and there was zero issue. Um, there's a information on the Away luggage site that helps you identify which airlines this slightly larger carry-on works for. I love this because it opens up like a book and you can fit things on either side. The left side is a zipper pouch and then the right side is like compression. So I put my clothes on the right basically and then everything else on the left, which is what I'll go through first. I do notice it's really high quality. I feel like it's gonna last forever. This is my liquids bag, just some random liquids in here, my sunscreen, my moisturizer, uh, my hair products. Again, I have TSA pre-check, so I don't have to take this out. And I know it's larger than what TSA says online, but honestly, I've never had a problem. So, you know, ask for <laughs> forgiveness, not permission. This is the one purse I brought. The um, this I've had that for many, many years. It's just a satchel. This, again, I've had since, like, I think middle school. My godmother got it for me. It's a toiletry bag. I had a print. Um, it's an L.L. Bean product. I had the same print in a backpack <laughs> in middle school. So this just brings me back. It's lasted forever. L.L. Bean is great quality, and you can kind of hang it on the back of a door, which is what I love. I've brought tons of skincare products, a couple sheet masks. I love these 100% pure sheet masks. I have all the contacts I needed. This is a little jewelry organizer I have. I think it's meant for something else, but I use it for all my earrings, which I only brought a few different pairs. Again, wasn't doing anything super fancy, so I just wanted to have a couple options. And yeah, see there's that little hook that you can hook it on the back of the door for. And yeah, that's also where I had my toothbrush, all that boring toiletry stuff, and I love that bag. Next up is my um, period products. I actually sewed this pouch myself many years ago, and in there I just have all the products I would need because I was expecting my period. This pouch I've had for many years. I got it as a gift for high school graduation, and in there I just had a bit of makeup. Again, didn't bring too much because I was just gonna hang out and I didn't want to bring too much. This is a laundry bag that on the way there I was using as a shoe bag. I like to put my shoes in a bag away from everything because I think it's gross. <laughs> I just have a very basic pair of strappy sandals. Those are from Lulu's from forever ago. Basic pair of flip flops and um, then my pair of Nike running sneakers that I wore a lot. And I was really happy with my shoe choices. It was a very, again, very casual trip. So I didn't need to bring anything like wedges or anything like that. So here I am showing you how I can pack it back in. I really love this compartment and this compartment is not where the kind of rails are for the handle to the luggage. So you can really fit a ton in this side of the luggage. Next up is the other side. So there's this divider portion that is on the middle and you can squeeze it down with those straps. So right now I'm loosening up those straps and unclipping them. And you can see how that works there. In this center pouch, I put 
um, one of my laptops, actually, I forgot to mention, my work laptop went in the back of my backpack. This is the laptop I use for personal reasons, editing videos, etc. And then in here I have my workout headband and basically all of my underwear and socks are in there and it's, they lay super flat and I love putting them in there. Here's where I put all of my clothes. I'm not going to take out everything because it would be a ton to go through, but I'm going to run through exactly what I was able to fit. A dress, romper, two workout outfits, a PJ set, six shirts, two shorts, one pair of jeans, one pair of leggings, and a bathing suit. All fit in just that side. So I was thrilled with what I was able to fit in there, and it all fit with enough room. You know, it was definitely packed densely. I used the KonMari um, method of folding for the most part, so um, I found that it really all fit in very nicely, and I had tons of options. Here, I'm just gonna show you how I did that fold. This is a Everlane long sleeve tee, and that's how you can kind of fit more, and I find that the height of it fit perfectly for this luggage and I was very happy with what I had. And I had tons of options, didn't feel like I was lacking anything. Here I'm gonna show you how I use those straps again. So just clip them and tighten the strap and it also keeps everything nice and condensed, which allows you to close the suitcase. Again, I was kind of pushing the limits of this suitcase here, um, but in most situations, this would be plenty of room for you know even a week trip, but I was obviously there for four weeks, so give it a little push down and put the zipper all the way around. I've loved this luggage. Obviously the wheels are smaller, so it's not super durable, but um, it was great for just traveling in the airport. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.